All right, I'm going to go over trig functions, reflections. I'll just touch this sine curve, but I guess this applies to all uh, curves. Reflections, okay? Um, back in the day, we did y equals 2x. Um, make a nice line that looks like something like this. And then we said, aha, let's reflect this. Now I'll do it like this, plus 1. Okay, I'm going to move it up here. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to reflect this, uh, go like this, and see what happens. Well. Uh, negative 2x plus 1 means I've reflected it right there. Okay, I'm going downwards instead of up. Easy. If I would have had that, wouldn't have had that, it would have just been like this. This would have become that. Okay, yeah, you see it was reflected over this line. Why must I bring that up? So that you realize that reflections are just as easy in trig curves. Here is, let's, let's call this thing, um, let's call this thing uh, 4 pi, 2 pi, so that means we did half a function uh, over the course of 2 pi, so that becomes that part, and let's say amplitude is 5. So we have y equals um, Five sine, yeah, sine. Okay, so we have our amplitude, and we have our half of the sine function gets completed in two pi. Therefore, the full is over four pi. Why did I do this? Because I want to show you just how simple the reflection is. Well, if you are given, let's see if you can tell the difference here. Um, if you are given y equals negative five sine one half theta. Clearly, your your creative brain should be thinking already. Well, there's our amplitude. And this is what we're dealing with now. The rest of this is the same, two pi, four pi. So those that's where the end of our function is gonna be, and this is the end of our halfway point. But we're here, so just like before, where we reflected the thing through the x-axis, we're going to reflect this through the x-axis. So this point would become this point. This point would become this point. This point would become this point. Do that to every point. This point becomes this point. This point becomes this point. You stick a mirror on that, and what you get is this. So you went from this to this. You've reflected it over, sorry, you reflected it over the the axis right there. Just that easy. Negative. Alright, so we've got, uh, let's see, uh, amplitude, how many periods are in a 2 pi segment, and reflections. Um, Wow, okay, next video we'll move on to something, something growing on this yet. Yeah.